Hey, my lovelies, and welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. Once again, guys, thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. I want to welcome all of my new subscribers and a welcome back to my current subs. Guys, on my channel, I have shown you many, many, many salad recipes, Macedonian, Maltese, and Canadian. On today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, I want to share with you yet one more salad. This is quite unique. When I say unique, not only is it from a certain region, but it's actually from a certain village. The village or town of Vepchani has their own beautiful salad named after their village. The Vepchanski salata is different than any other salad you're going to find in Macedonia and what really sets it apart is the dressing. I know you're going to love this salad. It's very healthy, tasty and you're going to want to make it. So guys, without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make beautiful Vepchanski salata. I did. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen countertop. As usual, below click show more. All of the ingredients I'm using today will be listed. As far as the amounts go guys, use your own judgment. It depends on how much salad you want to make, how many people you're serving, etc. Right, let's get started. As you can see on my cutting board here, I have two types of greens. Um, not very common in Macedonian salads. I have iceberg lettuce, which is more like a garnish in Macedonia than anything. And I have here some rocket or arugula. Um, it's very peppery and it's a lovely, lovely flavor. The basis of this salad are the iceberg lettuce and the rocket. This is pre-washed. So in my bowl, I'm gonna place, I'll put all of this rocket in. And then I've taken the outer layer off the iceberg lettuce already. Cut this in half and remove the core. And cut these into wedges. And again the other way. It doesn't have to be fancy, guys. You can rip it. It's completely up to you. You just don't want to have huge pieces of lettuce that you can't manage. They should be somewhat bite size. Alright, so this is going to go in the salad and I'll show you what's next. Alright, guys, I have a cucumber here. And it's up to you if you want to leave the skin on or off. I like to leave the skin on because it adds contrast and color and also it's very nutritious. So the ends are off. I'm going to just split my cucumber down the middle. Again, it's up to you if you want to remove the seeds or not. I tend not to. I don't mind them. They're nutritious as well. And go ahead and just cut these into quarters. Again, bite-sized pieces. Continue with your cucumber, throw that in the bowl, bring on what's next. All right guys, what I have here is a purple or red onion. I've taken the top and bottom off. I'm just going to cut this in half, remove the outer layer. Okay. Now these, depending on the size of your onion, this is quite large. So I'm going to cut this in half. And then we want some rings or circles. Half quarter circles, half circles, whatever you prefer. And then you can break them up to put into your salad. This is a big onion. It depends on the size of your onion, guys. You can put in as much or as little as you like. I know some people like a lot of onion, and other people don't like as much in their salad. It's up to you. But I'm showing you the components of what was in this salad. And it's very refreshing. All right, so I'm gonna continue with the other half of my onion. 
and I'll show you what's next. Alright guys, now I have a large, very large carrot here. Again, the amounts are up to you. I'm going to take the top and bottom off and give this guy a peel. I bought these carrots and cucumbers and vegetables at um, a farmer's truck. And these carrots, guys, still had clumps of dirt attached to them. You know, that's fresh. Try and buy local, try and buy fresh. And this is probably why this salad evolved or, or started in the first place. You know, the people of Evchani thought, let's use what grows here really well. The village has um, the natural springs and there's channels of water all throughout the village. So they're able to grow things like arugula and lettuces and things like that. Right, the different way for the carrot though, guys. What you, well, I'll just show you here. What you're going to do is you're going to cut ribbons. Okay, not too long. They don't have to be overly thick. Just keep going around your carrot with your peeler. You've seen this before probably, guys. And continue cutting ribbons. All right, so I'm going to continue with the rest of my carrot. No need to bore you now. And I'll show you the next element. All right, guys, the last element of this salad is actually optional. There were no peppers, per se, in my Vlachansky Salata. However, it was served to me on the side. And inevitably, you're going to you know, eat a bit of salad, eat a bit of the pepper. So I figure, why not just add it into the salad? I don't think the people of Vepchani Vepchan, would uh, object. So I have some banana peppers here. I'm just going to cut into rings. And these are, um, they're not really, really hot. They're kind of in between. So I'm just going to leave the seeds and all. You can use the really hot ones, but just, you know, if you want to remove the seeds, go ahead and remove them. But, um, like I said, these are more on the mild side. So, in our salad, we have the peppery of the arugula. We have the cool crisp of the iceberg lettuce. The carrots are sweet. And the onions are crunchy, sweet, but spicy with a kick. And then you have the really savory, beautiful peppers in here. So I'll continue with my last pepper and I'll bring you back. What I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna cover this and place it into my refrigerator while we work on the dressing. This is really simple, guys, but you're gonna love it. All right, guys, it's time to make the dressing for our Vobchansky Salata. This dressing was very different. It's a mustard based. It was a little savory, a little sweet, and a little tart, smooth, and it was just a really nice rounded off flavor. Um, the best thing about this recipe, guys, is taste it. If you think it needs something more, go ahead and adjust it, okay? Another thing is I'm just going to use a mason jar. There's no need to get out a bowl and a whisk and dirty that up by doing a emulsification. All you need to do is shake it up. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with a good quality olive oil. Again, guys, I'm eyeballing this, but you're going to taste it. You're in charge, okay? So about four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. To which I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar. Now you can use apple cider vinegar. Traditionally it's a wine vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar or red wine vinegar. Red wine was what was in the dressing. So about two, two and a half. One, two and a half. I have a little bit of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Going to squeeze in. And again, we're going to taste this, guys. Then I have some good Dijon mustard. Get yourself some good mustard, guys. Please don't use that yellow stuff. And I'm going to put a good 
tablespoon. It's already smelling good. And a little bit more for good measure. I have one garlic clove, which I'm going to grate in here. If you don't have fresh garlic, you can use a pinch of garlic granules. That'll work. But by grating this in, you're ensuring that you're not going to get any lumps. So whatever you do, please don't slice it or chop it up. Grate it if you can. Smash it. If you have garlic paste, you can use a bit of that. That's good. And to which I'm now going to go ahead and add some honey. Guys, this is honey from Macedonia, BN Beekeeping. If you haven't checked out my video of us visiting the hives there, please do check it out. So I want a good tablespoon or so of this honey. This is um, wild forest honey. This comes from the wild flowers in the forest. But any honey you guys have will do. What I also like to do, obviously, is to spill some on the side of the jar. That's mandatory. <laughs> mm -mm. Not let that go to waste. Alright. A little bit of salt to taste. Freshly cracked pepper. What you're gonna do is simply put your lid on. Oh, it helps if you use the right lid too, guys. I'm telling you, some days. All right, give it a good shake. And I mean a good shake. Gonna taste. Mm. Very nice. I'm gonna add a little more mustard. Again, guys, taste yours. I'm also gonna add a little bit more olive oil. just a little bit more honey. Because mine was good, but a little acidic. Maybe there's too much juice in the lemon. But this is the great thing about salad dressings, guys. You can taste, go back and forth. At least you know what's in it. It's not store-bought. You don't know what's in those. One more shake. Perfect. Perfect. You see, just by adjusting a few things, the salt that I added brings up the sweetness, the extra mustard. Perfect. It's not as acidic anymore. Perfect. Keep this in the fridge till you're ready to use it. Shake it up before you use. When you're ready, plate up. Bring this to the table so people can dress their own salad. All right, guys, let's serve up some of this beautiful Verchansky Salata. Hey, guys, so I've tossed the Verchansky Salata. I put it on a nice plate. I have our dressing here. All that's up to do is to taste. I'm gonna pour, oh, look at that, guys. That is beautiful. And bring this to the table so people can add their own, or you can add more if you want as you go on. I 
I can smell the peppers. I can smell the dressing, of course. And all of the fresh vegetables, I can smell them. The arugula is one of my favorites, guys, so let me dig in. Mm. The carrots are sweet. The arugula is peppery. So crisp and fresh. Mmm. Mm. All right. That is truly a memory of Macedonia. That brings me right back to Vavchani at the Avia Ignatia restaurant. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. It was a great meal there. Guys, you saw how simple this is, but it is so good and good for you. This is my dinner for tonight. That's all I need. It's very filling. The dressing is amazing. You're gonna love it. Hope you try this out. Guys, thanks so much for sticking in. Please follow me on social media. My link will be below. There'll be a few pics to follow. I love to hear from you, so please comment below. Love all your comments. Please like, share. Guys, until we meet again, be good to yourself and each other. Thank you so much. Follow Nogo, Aida Pretno, Aida Ciao.